horse racing, one of man's most ancient sports. From the first documented case of man on a horse, 4500 BC, to the organized sport which captivates human beings worldwide today. Horse racing is embedded in the roots of human history. From three quarters of a mile to two miles, thoroughbred horse racing is the most popular form of racing today. So popular that only baseball has a larger number of spectators each year. And it is this popularity throughout history that has always overshadowed one huge flaw. The danger. With thousands of injuries received each year, horse jockeys are some of the toughest athletes in the world. Well, I broke my hand, I broke my nose twice, I broke three ribs, two compression fractures, vertebrae in my back, um, fractured my skull. I broke uh, both wrists, uh, seven, eight vertebrae in my back, uh, collarbone, numerous ribs, uh, two vertebrae in my neck, quite a few concussions. You forget the danger and you, and you think about the victory and the glory of winning. Yeah, I, I would have to say that I was pretty fortunate. I uh, rode 20 years. Um, Came out of it with just a few fractures. Uh, I have friends that broke uh, collarbones uh, eight, nine, ten times. Um, other guys are, are paralyzed. A few friends that were even killed. You feel like you've had a good year if you've had just maybe one bad accident during the year and have lost and missed maybe a week of two of action as well. And that's that's a good year. Horse racing has been described as the only sport that has a fully equipped ambulance which follows every race. If you start getting chilly or scared, you might as well hang up your tack because it'll show up and pretty soon you don't have any horses to ride. It's usually only as dangerous as we make it. Um, if uh, the jockeys are careful, you know, uh, it's competitive, but you, you can still be careful and know what you can do and what you can't do. And actually, other than uh, several concussions, maybe seven or eight concussions also come to think of it, but other than that I don't think I broke any of the bones. I have one friend, Marco Castaneda, that got in a really bad wreck, had to be 10, 12 years ago, and uh, he still has uh, uh, like dizzy problems and he can't see out of one eye. And, he had a pretty bad head injury. Dennis, that accident at Bay Meadows underscores just how dangerous thoroughbred horse racing can be. It happened yesterday. Jockey Marco Castaneda suffered multiple skull fractures when the four-year-old filly he was riding broke a leg and went down, sending him flying. Oh, broke down, approaching the quarter pole, and down went Chapman, followed by off the shelf and Roberto Gonzalez. Now, Chapman and Gonzalez went to the hospital. Chapman ended up with a broken nose and his injured ribs a little bit. Well, I had several crashes where it was pretty serious, but the worst one was when I fractured my skull. I had a horse clip of heels. Um, I went down, we both went down, the horse behind us kicked me, uh, kicked me right here. It was about an inch in front of the temple area and maybe an inch further back, maybe I wouldn't be here today. Another time in a race, horse clipped heels. Uh, my horse went down, he rolled over top of me and then two other horses uh, fell over top of us. And um, something landed on my chest. Well, it had to be the horse, but uh, my whole chest just felt like it was sprung. I mean, I was in pain for 
for three months I couldn't sleep in the bed. I was sleeping upright in our lounger chair. Five yards, all the way, see the horse almost going down, and amazingly he grabs a hold of the horse's neck and holds on for dear life, knowing that there were a lot of horses behind him, didn't want to get trampled. He's hanging on, and of course, the people that had their money on him were really happy, but they couldn't believe it as he's dangling along. The crowd was screaming and yelling as it was inside the 16th pole, some 75 yards from the finish line. Unbelievably, look at the jockey in front. That's Tommy Chapman. He can't believe that Hubbard's hanging on all the way past the finish line. Well, I hung on to her, and then I thought about dropping off. Then I looked back and saw the rest of the horses I didn't get run over. Since 1940, 145 jockeys have died from horse racing fatalities. That is an average of 2.3 deaths per year. Only motorsports like NASCAR can claim a higher death percentage. So despite the dangers and pressures of racing, how do these little Ironmen manage to go to work every day? Well, it's really exciting. It's an exciting life. You get to work outside, you get to work with a a beautiful animal, you can make really good money if you're good at what you do. Uh, five, six times a day, maybe even more, you get an experience in an adrenaline rush that is just addictive. It's something that people pay good money to achieve, whether it's jumping out of airplanes or snow skiing or, or what have you. Uh, by the time you start racing, you know, usually when jockeys start racing, they're 17, 18 years old. At that stage of their life, they think they're indestructible. By the time you realize how dangerous it is, you might be in your, into your, 20, your late 20s, 30s, and uh, you get to thinking, you know, this is something that I could really maybe get hurt at. But even though there's a level of danger, you're comfortable with that level because it's something that you're familiar with. 